this is the the mausoleum here Egyptian style look at that and the door is opened on this guys look at that oh <laughs> this is a hard one a lot of effort in this one guys today I'm just going to show you where we're going Oh, can I jog her? Are you going to jog? There she goes. Still in Cork. Up this huge hill to the next location. A very interesting location. See you when I get there. So we're in the sticks. Literally, more dogs barking everywhere we go. There's dogs, so we're in the middle of nowhere, um, in County Cork, just heading in here to an old graveyard. There's a very interesting mausoleum in here a pyramid mausoleum and some old graves. I get past this gate. Right guys, so this is Glendor, old cemetery here, and uh, a bit of a steep going in here, hill. Looks very hidden away, beautiful looking. It's an old grave there with some beautiful statues in it. Margaret Hayes died in 1958 and her husband John in 1946. So we have the old church here, the ruins of the old church. And uh, I'll read some of these before we go any further. In memory of Daniel Mahoney, who died on the 6th of January, 1857, aged 78 years. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. Look at this one. Isn't this beautifully decorated? There's the old uh, GAA Gaelic Association, the sports, the two guys playing football, and a flag on it there as well, and decorated with some stones. We have a headstone here, possibly from the First World War, I'd imagine. Tucked away here in the corner. And uh, it's actually a woman. And when I say a woman, it's usually men we find in these. So good to see a woman on it. Private Christina Mary O'Donoghue. Auxiliary. Territorial Service, the 7th of January, 1946, aged only 19 years old. Wow. And somebody's left some um, little bouquets there for Christina. So rest in peace, Christina, and thank you for your service. So we'll have a look inside the old church room. It's 
some stone markers there. Couple of graves here inside the church. A newer looking uh, Celtic cross here. Sacred to the memory of Michael Cleary, who died the 7th of November 1931. And his son Timothy died in 1947. It's a new Celtic cross that was erected there. This is the Hayes family here, the grave. Beautiful yellow butterfly. So we'll go back out and uh, make our way. Now I think I have to go back out the way I came in and uh, get over the other side. Just down here. So this is the other pathway here in the old uh, cemetery. So we'll make our way up the path, up around. And I think that's the pyramid, it is. That's the pyramid mausoleum just there so we'll go around the other way there's a grave there as well and uh, you wouldn't really notice it with all the grass over there but it is a grave and that's either a mausoleum or a church we'll have to have a closer look to see Chest tomb. And there is a hole here in the side of this building here. Just having a sleep. There is nettles. I don't want to. Uh... Oh, there's bones in there, guys. Look at all the bones. I'll have to zoom in and see. See the bone is just there. A that's, a skull, that's a skull on your left of your picture. Some bones. Look at that. Do you know what it kind of looks like to me? Um, it looks like an ossuary because there is a Another drop down area, just straight ahead. Um, it's a strange looking thing. It's a mausoleum. Very strange, isn't it? Like there's no door. There's no door, no. The door must oh, be. Well, this was a door and it's blocked. The door is blocked up, I'd say. So, um, this is the, the mausoleum here. Egyptian style. Look at that. And the door is opened on this, guys. Look at that. The door is kind of open there. But just up above it, it says 1871. Erected by John Hussey de Burgh. So it's erected by John Hussey de Berg. We've seen a lot of the de Bergs and they all seem to have pyramid mausoleums. And there's a crest up over there as well. I can actually, when I'm talking, hear the echo yeah. of my voice inside the mausoleum, which is a bit creepy. But look at that, all the overgrowth. Oh, I wonder, was that a plaque? It's here. Yeah. It kind of looks like it was, doesn't it? Oh, it, it is. I can't see any writing on it. No. There was something there, it probably just got faded away. Well, there's another one, look. 
And there's one here, yeah. See those two iron oh, posts? There is. Look at see on the side as well, there's another one. It's like there was two there. There's one there as well, there's yeah. There's one on that one, I wonder. They're all covered over, you see, with that overgrowth, so it's, it's hard. really faded, isn't it? Very hard to see in there. It's amazing. But look at that, a pyramid mausoleum. And a lot of these wealthy landowners used to build these pyramids, mausoleums, on uh, trips to Egypt they went themselves. So they fell in love with Egypt and the pyramids and decided that when their time comes, they want to be buried in a pyramid-shaped mausoleum. But that door opened. You can see there it's opened. And uh, I don't know if I can see in. So that's what it looks like inside. Oh, there's a handle of a coffin. Look at that. Just there. That's a coffin handle. Um, that's a full skeleton, I think. That's a full skeleton lying there, yeah, look. I'll take it off zoom so you can see better inside. Oh yeah, look up there in the corner. Wow, there's three skulls there. Four? Four skulls. All in a row. All that. There's four skulls there, guys. Look at that. That is crazy. Oh, Where the old coffins, coffins are broken up. Yeah, there's would have been. Um, you see all the red brick inside. You can see the eye sockets there as well in the skull. Look at that. Oh. Sad. Very sad. Do you know something? It looks like there's a fire. Can you turn to your... Yeah, it does over there. Look. There. What's that What the there? heck? That's like a whole coffin, but it looks like it's burnt. Did somebody set fire to this place? Oh, no, don't say that. That would be cruel. Oh, my God, it definitely does. Look, it's like ash there on the ground. Oh, look at all the white, yeah. There's a plaque. See? It's Two there, look, one, two. There's another coffin handle right there. Another coffin handle there. So that's the the Borg family mausoleum and uh, it is sad to see it in such a state. You know all these people when they wanted to be buried in elaborate mausoleums um, and it ends up like that is very, very sad. But it does look like um, from looking in there let me know in the comments below what you think yourselves, but it does look like somebody set um, a fire in there. You could see the bits of coffin that were burned. Like ash. Um, like ash in a couple of places as well, like remains maybe. If that um, is what's happened, it's horrible. It's horrible that somebody would go in and desecrate the place like that and set fire uh, or light a fire in there. But um, yeah, sad. But rest in peace to all the family buried there in that mausoleum. So that's the other side there of the other mausoleum. Uh, I think it is, it is a mausoleum. But you can see up the very top there, it looks like a chimney stack at the top. Um, almost looks like a castle style or something. But uh, the hole on the, that side over there we looked in had all those remains. So whether they're part of this family or not, that we have here in the pyramid mausoleum. I'm not quite sure, but a very, very interesting old place, Glendore, here in Cork, overlooking all those beautiful hills. And it is a fine resting place, an area to be buried. So I think I'm going to leave it at that guys. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if you found this video interesting, hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up.
And as I say, yesterday is history and tomorrow is a mystery. Catch you on the next one.